Hi Steve, my name is Kristen and I'm a physical therapist. From the information you gave us, you are an avid tennis player and your initial symptoms started when you were wearing a loose pair of tennis shoes. And your symptoms sound like they uh, are plantar fasciitis, which you have been diagnosed with and are wearing shoe inserts for, and then wearing the shoe inserts has resulted in shin splints now, so you're dealing with two problems. The orthotics that are made for your foot are excellent in the treatment, for the treatment and really for the prevention of plantar fasciitis, but once you have plantar fasciitis, it's really important that you become proactive in treating it and getting on top of it so it's not something you deal with for a long time. So I'm going to give you several exercises and the first thing I'm going to address is the plantar fasciitis. Then we're going to address the shin splints. You also mentioned that it may be a stress fracture in the tibia. That's something an x-ray would rule out and time will tell as well. So we'll go ahead and treat the plantar fasciitis and the shin splints and as far as the stress fracture goes, that's something that a doctor will need to rule out for you. So also it would, if you're doing these exercises and then the, um, your pain in the shin decreases, it's probably not a stress fracture. So we want to be proactive. The treatment for the stress fracture will be rest and non-weight bearing stuff. So the um, exercises that I will give you will not aggravate that at all. It also, the exercises I give you, I want you to stay away from pain. So um, you should be fine in that department. I will show you the first thing that I like to refer to as the five minute miracle. People get very anxious with this exercise because five minutes seems like a long time but I think it will really benefit you. So what I want you to do is set a timer for five minutes and do it five minutes each day. The first thing I'm going to have you do is you're going to lie down, you're going to get a strap, a belt. This is a tie from a robe which works perfect. I'm going to have you lie on your back, legs straight, and you're going to put the strap around the ball of your foot. Your knee is going to be kept straight, your toes are pointed towards you, and you're going to raise your leg into where the, you feel a stretch down the back of your leg. Sometimes people will feel it right into their foot and it may reproduce their symptoms, it may not. But you're going to go into the tension that you feel anywhere, whether it's in the foot or in your hamstring down the back of your leg. You're going to go into where you feel the resistance or tension and then out of it. I'm going to call it pain that you're going into, but you're going to... I don't want you to go to severe pain. It should be very tolerable. And you're going to go into the pain, out of the pain. Into the pain, out of the pain. Into the pain, out of the pain. And you're going to repeat this for five minutes until that timer goes off. It's going to seem mundane, but you'll notice a big difference in just a couple days. So into the pain, out of the pain. After five minutes, you're going to repeat it on the other leg. Get your knees straight, toes pointed towards you. You're going to go into the pain, out of the pain, into the pain, out of the pain, into the pain, out of the pain. And you're going to repeat this pumping action for five minutes. So you'll notice once you get your pain under control and your pain is less in the mornings when you get up and start walking on your legs, you can drop this down so you're, you can drop it to two to three minutes and do it two or three minutes each day. But initially I really want you to commit to doing it to the, the full five minutes and you'll notice a big difference with that. Okay, now you're going to sit in a chair and there's three other exercises I'm going to have you do to address the plantar fasciitis. And by addressing the plantar fasciitis, strengthening the arch, it's going to also take care of the shin splints. So I'm going to have you sit in a chair and you're going to find a roller of some sort, a racquetball works great, or a tennis ball. And you're going to roll that ball or roller along the length of your foot. And you'll feel it 
it's going to be more tender in some areas, less tender. It should just feel good, and as the, the more you do it, the better that arch is going to feel. So it's kind of, it's self-massaging that foot. So I want you to switch and do both feet. And if you are sitting and watching television, you could do this up to 10 minutes. If you're not, spend two or three minutes and you'll notice a big difference in the way your arch feels. So you're going to use the you're going to do the five minute miracle with the straight leg raise in your rope and then you're going to do, do the ball roll. The next exercise I'm going to have you do is windshield wipers with your feet. And you're going to place your heels about three inches apart and you're going to pull up on your arch keeping your big toe on the floor. So you're really making an arch and strengthening that arch. And I'm going to have you do 20 repetitions of this. After you complete 20 repetitions of the windshield wipers, you're going to do heel raises. And the heel raises, I want your, most of your weight to go on your big toe. And you're going to start doing 20 repetitions in sitting. And once that's completely pain free, I want you to do 20 repetitions in standing and transition your weight on that. So you're going to do the straight leg raise, the ball roll, the windshield wipers, and then the heel raises. Then to address the shin splints, I definitely want you to ice. I recommend using ice for 15 minutes, two or three times a day. Then rest, and what I like to describe it as active rest. I want the rest is resting your feet. So you're doing activities that are relatively pain-free. Continuing to play tennis during this rehab process is just going to lengthen the time you're dealing with pain. If you can't not play tennis, it's just going to take longer to heal those, that pain. I also want to instruct you on how to tape yourself because taping for the shin splints will significantly reduce the pain down your shin and it's a pretty easy t taping technique that I think you can do yourself. So I'm going to instruct you in that. You described your pain as on the inside of the left leg and inside posterior. So I'm assuming it's right through here if it is traditional shin splints. And what you want to do is take some athletic tape and just do circulars starting just above the level of pain and you're just laying the tape down and then when you get to the inside right where that pain is you're going to pull that tissue tight because what shin splints is is actually the muscle pulling away from the bone which is what causes the irritation so you're going to just continue to do circulars around and you're just laying the tape down because you don't want to constrict blood flow but you're applying some pressure in and up so you're applying pressure through this area here so I'm again just laying the tape down and once I get right over the area of pain you're applying pressure up and in so you're just taking that muscle tissue and pulling it towards the bone which will take the pain decrease the pain. Most people with taping, they feel relief immediately. If the tape ever causes more pain, I want you to take it off. It should always relieve the pain. It should never make it worse. So again, you're just applying circulars. And if your pain keeps coming down further, I want you to go all the way down. If you've covered the area of pain already, and you can stop. So you lay the tape down and then you pull up and in. So you're pulling the muscle tissue towards the bone. So the tape should help relieve the pain. The idea is if we can calm the inflammation and the pain down, it allows your body to heal faster. I hope that addresses your question. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact us. Be well.